Alright, this is going to show you um, how to take something from Tinkercad and export it so it can be printed. Alright, first thing you need to do with your uh, students is check to make sure that what they've created isn't too big to be printed on our printer. Okay, Our Lulzbot Mini will print something that's about 14 and a half centimeters cubed. Okay, so um, there is a ruler on Tinkercad this over here you, you click it and you drag it over to your workspace alright and then once the rulers on there if you click on your item you can see the dimensions of it okay and so this one is and it measures in millimeters so here's a good time to to uh, refresh students on millimeters and centimeters okay so this item is 70 centimeters tall and it is 66 centimeters wide so that will very well fit in our printer and also the height is five millimeters you don't want things very high unless it's you know supposed to be but if it's just a little item like this um, the, the higher it is the, the taller it is the the more uh, filament it's going to take up so um, if they've made something and they just want to print it out like that like this is supposed to be a keychain um, it, you don't want it to be very tall or it's just going to take a bunch more filament okay so try to get them to keep it and you can change the dimensions on here by either clicking and dragging or you can just click it and change the dimensions by typing it in okay so I just made that 10 millimeters or one centimeter tall okay so it's real easy to change the dimensions uh, just by typing in okay uh, so we're assuming that this is good and we want to print it now one more quick thing I forgot to mention. Um, when your students first create something, it's going to have this nonsensical name up here. They need to click on that to rename it something that makes sense, like their name and whatever it is. So when you go to print it, you can figure out whose it is. Because otherwise, you'll have all these nonsensical names and you won't know what they are or whose they are. Okay, so we're going to go up here to the export button, click export, and you need to make sure that when they click export, there's two options right here, everything in the design or selected shapes. Okay, make sure they click everything. As I've seen students, they said, oh, I downloaded it, and when you open it up to print it, they had accidentally only clicked on some one thing and it only selected that one item. Okay, um, here, hang on a second. Another way to avoid that is to make sure that you click up up here to group it. This little button, you, you highlight everything that you want by clicking and dragging, and then click on group, and it'll group it all together. This one's already grouped together, so it won't let me select it. So anyway, back to exporting. So we're exporting, we want everything in the design, and we are gonna, um, save these as STL files so you click on STL and then downloads it to your computer okay and next video will show how to import that into Cura